How's it going everyone? Greg here at the Sierra Ons Rude Manufacturing Plant in Troutman, North Carolina. We recently had the opportunity to visit a customer of ours, Aerospace Fabrications of Georgia, and this is their video testimonial of the hybrid mill after a year of ownership and daily operation. Enjoy. Well, first off, my name is Adam Grizzle. I'm the CEO uh, and owner of Aerospace Fabrications of Georgia here in uh, Dallas, Georgia. We're a company that consists of about 55 employees. We uh, handle everything from three to five axis um, machining, uh, sheet metal manufacturing and fabrication that's forming and so forth, uh, and certainly have a, a fairly capable aluminum heat treat facility. We absolutely fell in love with the hybrid mill as soon as we saw it. One of the more immediate production process improvements that we noticed as soon as we started moving existing product lines over to the Onshrewd hybrid was the ability to take advantage of the range of its articulated head. The angularity that we were able to reach within our part numbers greatly improved our ability to machine a complete product in a single phase or in a single setup rather than actually having multiple production setups. An example is placing pilot holes in standing legs of a lot of our customers' product. In the past, this had always been a manual process, much more time consuming and much less accurate. And so with this new capability, we now have, have basically converted many of our part numbers that we still would be machining on other equipment today over to the Onshrewd simply to be able to save time and improve accuracy for our customers. This being our very first Onshrewd purchase and certainly our very first purchase of an articulating head machine, we've actually been, uh, been able to reduce many of our products machine times by as much as 40% using this machine over equipment that quite frankly I thought that we were already getting uh, a very efficient manufacturing rate. If number one, you have some low to medium uh, manufacturing rate products, you're machining materials such as aluminum, perhaps some other softer alloys with regards to the aerospace industry, that is, that is certainly something that fits quite well. When you're able to combine that, that same articulating head range with such a large work envelope, such as you would see in the aerospace industry, for example, I can't imagine a better fit. If I had found one, perhaps I would have purchased it, but uh, in this case, uh, it's worked out just perfectly for us. We're uh, graciously invited to uh, visit the facility in Troutman where uh, our first machine actually uh, was setting in the inventory, but more importantly, we were invited to actually tour the manufacturing process of not only this machine, but similar models to uh, and give us some confidence that we felt that we needed to ensure ourselves that it was built with the quality that we expected. It was a perfect trip. Uh, we made uh, not only some, some good first relationships, I like to hope actually make some, made some friends that day and that uh, would ensure a, a much longer future relationship between our two companies as well. Well, when the hybrid actually first turned on, the fluorescence uh, or the LEDs actually turned on here at, uh, at AFOG, I have to admit it drew quite a crowd from the existing machinists that we have, not to mention it was the largest machine that we had ever had in here. And I can assure you that, uh, that the Onshrewd actually held her own during our first couple of days of demonstrations to our existing future operators for the machine. It wasn't just a couple of days into it, we actually had some folks actually really jockeying for the position of being the first full-time operator for the piece of equipment. And uh, well, at this point, it looks like the only way that uh, some others are gonna get a spot is for us just to go ahead and try to purchase another one.